We are the global leader in augmented reality for cars. We have developed a special um, optical system based on the holographic optical elements. Instead of having a small image on the windshield, we can cover the whole windshield with the augmented reality and you can see virtual objects floating in the air far from the windshield of the car and we can literally integrate these virtual objects into the reality. That's why we call it true augmented reality. We feel that deep tech is very different from high tech. Uh, high tech companies, they usually use the existing technologies in order to create new products. And in our case, we needed to create new technologies in order to create new technologies and then to create products based on that. About 70% in our case, 70% of uh, tools that we use, they didn't exist. So we needed to develop these tools first, produce these tools, and then to uh, start working on our technology. These tools are like um, special tools for hologram recording. You cannot buy them on the market. And we're using thin films that we're integrating into the windshield. And uh, the principle is called HOE, Holographical Optical Elements. They're replacing traditional optics with our holographic optics. Um, and we also use the laser projector the, with the specific lasers that we have developed also in-house. Uh, these lasers are, um, are using very, very narrow bandwidth of light and that helps to, to have the, the windshield being transparent, 98% of transparency, and at the same time to have a very bright image during the sunlight. The software, uh, we use the AR rendering engine. This is based on SLAM, uh, simultaneous location and mapping. We're feeding on different sources of data, like cameras, radars, lidars, uh, inertial sensors of the car and GPS. We combine this data into uh, one source of the positioning of the car and then we, uh, we can render based on this uh, SLAM. We can render the content precisely with uh, 60 frames per second and this is what we call AR rendering engine. The main idea of our technology was about safety. So we wanted to make the driving more safe and uh, we feel that augmented reality is the best way to navigate so the navigation in AR is more natural, more convenient than just plain 2D uh, display in your car. When it's in AR, when you feel, uh, when you see the arrow or the line over there, like on the road, you don't need to distract, you don't need to look to the IVI system of the car and you don't lose the time. Uh, we can also visualize the ADAS, the advanced driver assistance systems like uh, lane departure warnings or frontal collision warnings or detection of pedestrians or animals in, in uh, bad weather conditions. These are features that already exist in normal cars, but they are being visualized in the dashboard. So you need first to look to the dashboard and then back to the road when it's very important. So we, we are visualizing the advanced driver assistance systems for the driver. For the passenger, you can also show another types of the content, infotainment, uh, a lot of games, applications, points of interest, everything you can imagine in normal mobile phones, but with the context of the geography, with the context of the city. I think that in the future, uh, cars would, would be so interconnected uh, that you wouldn't need even the, uh, the traffic lights. So the traffic lights, physically, they would not be necessary when you have this traffic sign uh, in augmented reality uh, in your, inside of your car. So that might lead to some efficiency, if you, if you may say. Our purpose as a company is to enable uh, virtual worlds through uh, transparent displays meaning that we want to be everywhere when you can, where you can see the transparent screens, transparent windows. That would be construction, like in offices. Um, that would be any other types of the transportation, including boats, trains, aircrafts. So everywhere where you can, where, where you can see through the transparent glass. So we feel that we are part of this new changing world.